Hello! Welcome to episode 6 of Road to Freaks, which is our chronicling of the movie that Josh and I are trying to write uh, based off of the um, <clears throat> senior project that I had back in high school. So in this episode, we kind of go over a little bit more in depth as far as plot-wise for, uh, particularly for Xander, uh, how he's going to approach the trip, how uh, we, we go through a whole bunch of different tourist attractions that I personally just want to check out. Um, but we basically just try to find our footing uh, as far as how we're going to get everyone together, how we're going to create conflict, um, going just further deep into it. So please enjoy and uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe The Junk Drawer Show. Later. <laughs> What a face. <laughs> What's up, everyone? Uh, welcome to episode six of Road to Freaks, episode 37 of the Junk Drawer Show, I think. Uh, we're just going to jump into it. Um, yeah. I So over the course of the past week or so, <clears throat> whenever we recorded the last podcast, I've been sending random thoughts to Justin about what I want in the, uh, in the movie at some point. Um, so here they are. <laughs> one, one that I one that I was talking about is uh, oh I, I guess I'll start with the lie each character believes. Josh's ideas, yeah, the lie yeah, each character believes. Uh, so Xander believes that he has no control, he can't make choices, and he can't lead. So one of the things we were talking about having him do was roll a d twenty. Um, it's it's all above. Huh? It's right above. Oh, is it really? Yeah, oh, yeah. it is. All right. Yo, uh, yeah, I wouldn't remember. I have to read it off. So Xander has no control, can't make choices, and he can't lead, which is why he's the idea of him rolling a d twenty whenever he makes decisions for anything came up because uh, he's he's instead of making choices himself, he's leaving it up to fate. You know, right? Uh, at some point, probably Skyler. I want him to say something like put his hand out a window and f and do the little fly thing yeah and say hey guys look i made an indie movie and then do a hard cut to like change the color grading and everything so that it looks like uh, an indie movie yeah like a stereotypical indie movie <laughs> so okay i just, remember uh, that one i'm like what are you talking about <laughs> does that I'm make like, sense now though yes it does i'm like like okay. the pickle cat thing we did and you're like no not like the pickle cat thing we did but yeah. also kind of like the pickle cat thing like that. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> just a little more like genre specific. And then, um, oh, I didn't do the other, whatever, the the other lies each character believes. Uh, Cooper believes he is alone and is unlovable. And Skylar believes his value is only reflected in metrics and that quantity of friends is a replacement for quality. Yeah. So... That's what I got. What are your What are your thoughts on those? Um, I think they're solid. Um, I can definitely feel like because um, you know Cooper's <clears throat> current love situation is how you know we're talking about the divorce, and you know I can speak from personal experience at this point from 2017. I definitely felt like that. So that is definitely something that something someone in that position would 100. percent uh, believe i think skylar thinking he's only like a number and that like the quality and the quantity of his friendship i think it, it harkens back to the kind of like the trope we see in movies when you have like a a famous protagonist or a famous character and all the all they're surrounded by is yes men mm -hmm. and they they feel really insecure about like well you're not really my friend there's um did you ever watch future man on hulu no watch future man on hulu just not sponsored it's fantastic <laughs> but okay <clears throat> josh hutcherson's character spoilers in like i want to say season two becomes a famous video game like player like an e-games player mm -hmm. and earlier in the series there's like the these three people that are just kind of like dicks to him in like a video game store he goes to like they're just kind of like shallow friends then by the second season when he's this big big shot they're his entourage and they're mm. just yes men 
110%. So I think that's really, really, I like that idea a lot. And that also adds into a layer of distrust that Skylar could have towards the other two. Um, And then as far as Xander having no control, um, I think that's, I think that's very relatable. And, um, you know, I, I'm not a leader personally, but I, I would assume that at some point people who are, you know, mostly leaders have those doubts about themselves. Like, can I really do this? Am I really in a position to do this? You know, there's always, I think there's always going to be a a self-doubt underlay, if that makes sense. Oh yeah. There's always that, uh, that why me thought in your head. Yeah. Like what, what makes me more qualified than someone else? Right. So cool. So I'm glad you like those. I think the, the other two things could just be funny scenes and if they don't work out, they're fun, like extras or bloopers. Yeah. Okay. No, I'm about it. I think it's, I think it's a really good idea. Um, what's today? Today is the 10th. The 10th? Yes. May 10th. I'm going to start dating the, uh, happy mother's day guys. Yeah. Happy mother's day. If you're a mom, happy mother's day if you're a single dad and you're both mom and dad happy mother's day to you yeah shout out happy mother's day what's up also if you're hot and you're a mom happy mother's day (laughs) (laughs) and also call me also please god i'm lonely please Um, i need a mother slash lover hybrid oh i do not need a mother (laughs) i do not need a mother lover um (laughs) <clears throat> so what do you want to tackle today well let's see here we have our first scene our last scene we have our rough wire outline idea we have our tonal references we have um our dan Harmon pinwheel for each character and the actual plot of the story I think we should honestly let's start I think we should start spitballing dialogue I think we should start spitballing at least because we have the outline to the first scene Mm -hmm. do you want to maybe start scoping that out or start outlining that out or oh dialogue for the first scene like the uh, the bickering parts yeah, I think I think that could work. Like, if we can figure out what direction it's going and what direction we want it to go, I think I think it could it could be dope. I'm I'm not against it. My thought is that most mm. of this dialogue is going to be informed by the uh, the events of the story. Okay. Right. So, like in a in a foreshadowing kind of way, mm-hmm. but we don't have anything specific to reference yet. Okay. I'm down. So, to, I'm down for dialogue, though. Maybe like the first scene where they, uh, where uh, fucking Xander pitches the trip. Okay. Um. Okay, so let's outline the pitch scene. How about that? Sure. And then we can do the. I can do the dialogue during the week. <clears throat> I'm just very forgetful, and I'm obsessed with the new video game. So. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't go to the back burner. Yeah, um, that's fine. So let me for myself go here. So um, I'm going to title it The Pitch. So, so the way we have it is that mm-hmm. they all decide that they're going to do it. Like they all agree that it's something that should be done. And then they shove it on to Xander to right. plan, right? Okay. Right. Which we we establish is going to be in that first initial scene. So it's not like a real first scene. It's like maybe like the first part of the movie, basically. Uh, The pitch? Yeah. Okay. So the pitch. um, We need to establish that. Establish that it's pushed onto Xander which will play into the lie he believes. Um, Also, will inform the frustration of being in a position that he 
does not feel fit for. Does that make sense? You didn't have to correct it while I typed. It. I'm helping. <laughs> okay. It keeps me engaged. Um, That's what I so, used to do when we took notes in college too. Like a group of us had a group chat and people would just type furiously and I would no like shit. fix it, format it, and then just make funny comments because I did not want to be in school. You could do what I did, just don't show up and then get kicked out. I could have done that. I'll I'll go back. I'll go back five years. There you go. Eight years. Let's let's oh god. <laughs> don't don't talk about college. I don't want to remember how far away. You don't remember is. the fact that we started it ten years ago? Eleven for you? Eleven for me. Yeah, what is it? May? Yeah, I was just about to graduate high school. I'm a different man. Yeah, we have beards now. Yeah, we do. <laughs> 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 okay uh so yeah i think that makes sense um <clears throat> so do we need a scene of him because we, we thought about having a rough scene of him planning it which would be his nighttime shot right right which was laptop fire him kind of like i wouldn't say seething but definitely brooding that's okay. that's something that he, I feel like he does, and that's something I do constantly. So yeah. I feel like I can I can play into that, like begrudging is, compliance. I would say malicious compliance. Malicious compliance. Okay. So, Wait. So is uh, he going to plan a shitty trip? Could he arguably plan a shitty trip? He he could. Mal I'm going to put malicious compliance question mark do we want him to be a shithead i kind of want to i want to keep exploring this idea because i think the idea of him trying to make a shitty trip is super interesting okay so he's is he kind of an antagonist then in the show in the movie uh, he's possibly i think it's the the trip is the is the antagonist he just happened to plan a shitty trip okay like shitty motels and shit? Yeah, like the, the trip itself, there's nothing wrong with it at its core. If we stick with the idea of a road trip going to somewhere in New Mexico mm -hmm. just to like do something. But he, he plans things that, like using stuff that he remembers about Cooper and Skyler that he knows that they'll hate. So let's say Skyler has a fear of spiders. They like stay at a spider themed motel. Okay. Like that kind of stuff. Okay. Okay, so we're going to do malicious compliance. Yeah, I, th I think that sets up a, like a bigger arc for him to, to have and kind of realize that he's being a shithead. Okay, I like that. Okay, so malicious compliance. So what would be a shitty... What's a shitty vacation then? Like really bad motels. Mm-hmm. Um, shitty diners because we can also play into the uh dine and dash oh yeah uh, that's right re really lame uh sideshow attractions yeah that he pulled that they have to pull over for every shitty like world's <laughs> biggest ball of yarn and like possum museum yeah so how do we how does xander convince the other two that they have to pull over for those I think how serious he has to be about it. Like, no, we have to do this. This is on the itinerary. But he's not an itinerary kind of guy. Well, if they, if we have them really push at the beginning, like Cooper and Skyler, like, hey, plan everything out. Like, if we have a strict schedule, we can fit in like so much shit. And he's like, I don't, I don't really do that. And have the two of you kind of gang up on him to really push to organize it and make sure everything like looks good mm -hmm. on paper. Then that can play in. It's like, it's, it's on the itinerary. It's laminated. <laughs> yeah. Like that's to the key malicious compliance. What if, what if we, um, we throw in something about how, Cooper and <clears throat> Skyler have tried to plan something before and he just didn't go along with it or didn't show up, something like that. So that okay. that's why they're saying, okay, like we want to do this, but you need to plan it because the last time we did, we planned something, you just didn't show up. I like that. Okay. And then he so, can say like, I don't really want to plan it. Let's just go. And then it comes to, you, no, you need to plan it, plan it to a T. Thinking that, like, if you tell him to do something to a T, it's like, okay, he'll half-ass it, and it'll just be a regular plan. I like that, because I don't know if you remember from 12 years ago, but 
there was um during the cooper xander prequel that we shot that's lost the time um because i remember writing the line because i was feeling it emotionally uh it was i was told by my my mom for a very long time i needed to have a plan and to stick Mm -hmm. to the plan and there's a line i remember xander saying which is what's your plan stick to your plan and him being frustrated with having to have a plan so that actually fits really well into my kind of idea of the character yeah cool i like this see organic um (laughs) our eyes both lit up when we 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 came up with malicious compliance uh i love malicious compliance there's a really cool youtube channel i follow called r slash and they just do different reddit posts and one of them is malicious compliance (laughs) it's just fantastic yeah um okay so malicious compliance i like that a lot um so i'm trying to think of like I'm going to Google like shitty things to do on a vacation. Okay. Look specifically in New Mexico since that's the plan right now. New Mexico lame <laughs> attractions. Skyler and Cooper. 11 cool and unusual things to do. No, no, no. Lame. We need I know. lame. Top rated, low rated. Hold on. Low rated attractions. Holy shit. Hold on. It's all like twenty five things to do, but I can <laughs> I can find them. like I can find weird shit. International U.S. UFO Museum and Research Center. That just sounds fun. Please, like conspiracies. Come on, dude. Um, what, if, what if uh, what if we add in that Skyler? Because <clears throat> it should be stuff that will specifically upset them. That maybe yeah. only. Skyler's like, afraid of aliens. Yeah, but something that Skyper, or Skyper, Skyler Skyper. confided in Xander but never told Cooper. Okay. So that Cooper, but he doesn't want to tell Cooper. So he goes along with it and he's miserable the whole time. <laughs> I love it. I love aliens. Yeah, aliens are cool. <laughs> Josh, Parker. there's a place called Pistachio Land, which has the world's largest pistachio. <laughs> That's in New Mexico? <laughs> yes. That is in Alamogordo. New Mexico, if you have an opportunity, please go to it. Because <laughs> there's just a giant sculpture of a fucking pistachio. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh my god. Oh god. It's it's a pistachio farm and the logo is just a giant pistachio. It's 30 feet tall. That's and insane. It's made, and it's made out of concrete. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so pistachio farm. Okay. No, world's largest pistachio. How dare you? I'm going to put the link. um... Hold on. I'm going to make links to actual things. (laughs) Um, World's largest pistachio. There's also a Roswell McDonald's that looks like the fanciest fucking McDonald's I've ever seen in my life. It's... It's shaped like a flying saucer. <laughs> Can you link that too? Yes. See, I know these are all like supposed to be lame, but that just seems fun. That's something we should just go to. Uh, Roswell McDonald's. Um, International UFO Museum of Research. Are we planning a vacation, Josh? Yes. To New Mexico? Yes. Okay, Where we great. happen to f- short- shoot a, a movie. Okay, fantastic. Well, no, no. The primary reason is to shoot a movie because tax reasons. Um, The museum is pet friendly and has doggy alien hunter (laughs) t-shirts in the gift shop. Uh, Admission is $5 for adults. Okay. Keep your admission sticker for shopping around town because some of the shops offer a 10% discount. I can't wait. I can't wait for our New Mexico trip. Oh, I know. Road to Freaks is just um, it's just us planning a vacation. There is the National uh, Museum of Nuclear Science. Okay. That just sounds dope. Um, yeah. New Mexico Mystery Stone. Um, which just seems to be like a slate that has a uh, some weird writing on it. There's a wedding chapel with a mysterious spiral staircase said to miraculously be constructed. Hmm. Um, 
anything alien I think would be good, especially if we make either Skylar or Cooper afraid of aliens. American International Rattlesnake Museum. <laughs> oh, I do not want to go there. Let's do it. Okay, great. I'm going to link that. Go to New Mexico. There's so much cool shit. I've never been, but you can go for science. We will be. Humble, humble viewers. Um, there is the TWA Flight 260 crash site, uh, which is when an airliner crashed and it's preserved for those willing to climb and pay respects. Hmm. So you have to climb up a mountain, I think. Um, That'd be fun. There's a grave to Walter White. <laughs> oh my god. Oh shit. What'd you find? They have the Okay, so do, have you heard the urban legend about uh the ET Atari game? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They <laughs> have the landfill where the Atari really? games are. Yes. <gasps> Buried beneath the New Mexico sands are believed to be millions of copies of Atari's ET game. We'll bring a shovel. Yeah, we will. Holy shit. I'm going to copy that. I'm putting that in the link. <laughs> um, I think this might be my favorite episode. Yeah. I'm really glad that I'm, I'm, I'm going to be the one that intros it. <laughs> <laughs> in this episode, we look at really shitty things. Um, there is a no scum allowed saloon. What does that mean? Um, it looks like it's in a lar- it says in a largely deserted ghost town, a little brick builder recalls its history as a gold rush hub and a haven for outlaws. But what's scum? Like no scum uh, allowed, what does that mean? Probably no like uh outlaws and shit. Right? Yeah, sure. Um There's still there's um there are a lot of pages. There are about seven pages so far. Shakespeare Ghost Town. Uh, which is a outlaw frequented mining town. Scientology's Trementatina base. So a, a church? Hold on, no, it's not. Hold on, I'm going. I'm going slightly crazy. So the description is: a strange symbol marks a secret Scientology base and is meant to guide its leader back to Earth. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. Founded by L. Ron Hubbard, who died in 86. Um, church has several bases, but one of the most shadowy of location is their Trementina base, which is said to contain the writings of Hubbard written on a giant steel slab and underground tunnels and barracks. What is most peculiar about the base is what is seen from the outside. From several thousand feet above, the church's symbol, which has been carved into the ground, can be seen from a flying craft. It is believed that this symbol was placed here by senior members to guide Hubbard, who is thought to return to Earth from death and from beyond. Oh, man. I'm putting it down. Yeah. Like, you think, like, cool shit. Like, I want them to think, like, they're going on cool shit. I'm like, yeah, we're going to the Roswell McDonald's. We're going to the world's largest pistachio. We're going to the landfill where they buried a whole bunch of E.T. cartridges because Skylar likes video games, I think. And the Scientology (laughs) Center. Um, What if if they're all, he he misleads them in what they're called. He's like, yeah, we're going to go to Roswell McDonald's. We're going to go to, uh, we're going to go to a video game historical whatever museum and it's just a hole tumbleweed snowman (laughs) albuquerque found the perfect use for tumbleweeds at christmas time and it's tumbleweed snowman it's during the holiday season so i'm gonna put that down but i'm gonna put in parentheses holiday okay it's a it's a solid maybe it's a very solid maybe we can go on a trip (laughs) (laughs) um Oh, that These looks are... much better than I thought it would. What, the, the tumbleweed snowman? Yeah. There's also a wall of bottles, which is a head height wall constructed of thousands of wine and other bottles held together by stucco. <laughs> oh, Atlas Obscura. Nice. Uh, so good. So good. Okay, so we have just... I'm going to just I'm say, ju- save that site. Um. Yeah. That's the uh, the book that Luke gave me when I moved. Is it really? Mm-hmm. I I should look in there for New Mexico. Yeah, you should. Camel Rock Dark Bird Palace. 
Okay, we're going down a rabbit hole. I know, but this is the last one. Okay. This is the last page. Um, There is the Spring Limeberry Human Sundial. I don't know what that is. Uh, This sundial indicates the time based on where you stand within it. Okay. Um, Oh, cool. Oh, I've seen walls like this before. That's kind of cool. Ooh. This is just something I'm going to want to check out. The Fuller Lodge Art Center, which is the dining hall for... uh, It says... Once a dining hall for summer campers, this lodge was a popular haunt for nuclear physicists working on the Manhattan Project. Oh, that is kind of cool. That's super dope. Okay. That's just, I'm going to put like, I'm just going to put dope shit next to that (laughs) one in parentheses. Okay. Sorry. So malicious compliance. These are all really great ideas of how he can maliciously comply to what they're asking him to do. Mm -hmm. Um, Dope. Shit. So <clears throat> let's I'm gonna put this on its own page at the moment. Okay. So that way we can focus on the rest of it. Um so malicious compliance, uh no question mark anymore. Because <laughs> that's what we're doing apparently. <laughs> um so I want him to Xander pitches the trip and the idea via a organized schedule and an itinerary. <laughs> the boys are hesitant, but pleasantly surprised that he has taken the initiative um when things go sour i.e skylar having a mental breakdown in the rattlesnake (laughs) museum Cooper and aliens. These are just examples. Yeah, yeah. Xander relies on his D20 to make decisions concerning where next to go. What if um, we all, he also plans, <clears throat> so malicious compliance, but he rolls a D20 to decide on those top 20 lists which one they go to? Okay. Like, he'll come up with some that are, like, specifically to piss off the guys. But then it's yeah. also like, uh, fuck it. D20. Uh, world's largest pistachio. Cool. <laughs> world's largest pistachio. Uh, so <clears throat> my thought with with uh, this part mm-hmm. is that he starts, like, he'll call the guys in a group phone call. Okay. So we can show a little bit more of their background, what they do, like, on any given day. Let's say it's a Saturday. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so we'll just cut between phone calls, or maybe do the the three. Yeah, the three like windows. The okay. Yeah, um, and then the actual presentation of the schedule and everything is a PowerPoint. <laughs> okay. Because he because he's he's being professional. He's he's got an itinerary. He's got a schedule. So he makes it a PowerPoint to like really drive it home. Okay. To make his point. Yeah. <laughs> his PowerPoint. Power pin. Power pin. Um, that's going to be fun, too, making the PowerPoint. Yeah. yeah. Like kid PowerPoint and like, pew, 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 <laughs> like laser sounds and shit. Yeah, yeah. Very, um, um, very like Marshall from How I Met Your Mother. Or, or the Dean from uh, that oh, one episode God. of Community. So good. You mean every episode of Community he's in? <laughs> yeah, but the specific one where he, he like learned PowerPoint. Yes. I love Dean Pelton. Um so we have that. Also, and then if we, we just if we want to do some weird genre stuff, it could be a hard cut to like a TED Talk style. <laughs> TED Talk style. Like, hi, welcome to my TED Talk. Yeah, like, like wearing a suit and shit, and I'm like, two. Yep. Have you seen um Hunters yet? 
Uh, some of it. I have, I've, I've watched a little bit. Did you get to the third no. episode? No. Nope. Okay. Because <laughs> they do a lot of uh, little genre bits like that. Okay. So watch, watch. It's either episode two or three where they start doing it. <laughs> so um, basically, just watch the show. Yeah, just watch the show. <laughs> okay. But, but I think, um, I think, I think those are funny, and if we end up doing that, we can do more of those bits because the the um, indie movie one I was talking about, this one. Uh huh. I'm putting uh, under inspiration hunters uh, genre bits. Okay. Oops. Yeah, it's not popping up. Apples. It's a uh, it's on the list, so you have to scroll up a while. Oh, okay, gotcha. Um. Okay. So we have the malicious compliance, the PowerPoint. We decided we're doing a train if we can. Yeah, I would love to do a train just because they're fun. Um, let me see. New Mexico train stations. There has to be, because I know there is, there, there's there, one, you know, like 20, 10 minutes for me. Gotcha. There's one that goes through Albuquerque, Ratton Station, and Santa Fe. Okay. Is that Amtrak? Um, let me look. It just says railroad station. Let me look at Albuquerque's. Uh, Alvarado Transportation Center. Okay. I pulled up Amtrak because it's the only one I really yes, know. Yes, it's Amtrak. Oh, it is? Okay. Yep. Yeah, Denver... Where is New Mexico? Oh, we so well we wouldn't start in Denver, so that's fine. Yeah, <laughs> we could do like uh, we'll say the trip is from Albuquerque to Santa Fe. You want to make it out to uh, California? No, I don't want to go to California. You said San- uh, wait, where else is Santa Fe? New Mexico. Oh, it doesn't. It's only showing Albuquerque on this map. Gotcha. So it's Albuquerque to there's Santa Fe, um, there's Santa Fe County, Los Ranchos, there's Las Vegas, obviously, but Las Vegas would be a different monster altogether. Um, I think from Albuquerque to Santa Fe, unless that's a really short trip. Hold on, that sounds really that sounds like a three to four hour trip, right? Because I I got from Orlando to New York in eighteen hours. On a tr- on a train. On a train, yeah. Yeah, it's and, an hour and two minutes. <laughs> yeah, we we have to go like interstate. That's on the, uh, like in a car. Okay, so let's do. I mean, Las Vegas. I would assume would be. Just for example, um, wouldn't be much longer. <sighs> yeah, but it looks like there's not Ooh. a a route that goes that way. Las Vegas to Albuquerque is. Uh, eight and a half hours oh that's it let's try to let me see if i can stretch it even further you, you want to do california i don't know like santa barbara or something because that's 13 hours which yeah. isn't long i mean i, I guess feel. it doesn't really matter where it is right because if we're just trying to film on it well no you know what we need to do we need to figure out like a final destination in new mexico i think right right you know um so either we can make it one of those dumb ones like the et <laughs> landfill <laughs> yeah yeah um or we can we can do something that's like pretty like I'm sure they have different canyons and shit. Yeah. So um, New Mexico landmarks. Natural landmarks, like the Devil's Armchair or something, is somewhere, right? There's the Carlsbad Caverns, White Sands. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's the bandolier Dude, let's, national let's do white sands you want to do white sands yeah i just want to go okay 
I wonder if you could get like ATVs and shit. Like you could rent an ATV and just kind of go. I don't know. It is a national park. I would assume they would have something around it, right? Anyway, sorry. Um, There's that. There's Old Town. There's the Aztec Ruins National Monument. Um, There's a uh, tramway. So if someone's afraid of heights, we can do the tramway. Ooh, yep. Oh, so on the their website there's a guy with his daughter and he has like a sled with him okay so we can definitely do that okay let's do we'll say the end destination is the white sands national park yeah okay yeah we're legit just planning a vacation yeah at this point we're adam sandler at this point yeah because he just makes movies to go on vacation (laughs) yeah but without the funding (laughs) or yeah without the budget okay so white sands so then i think xander should say that he has um things planned along the way but keep them a surprise which is just him looking at a shitty map and then rolling a d20 i'm like yeah. we're going to the pistachio national museum <laughs> yeah and they're like can't we see the itinerary he's like nah itineraries on my phone <laughs> that's like showing you my dick guys I'm not doing that because I don't know what you hack boys do. Uh, White Sands National Park. Fuck yeah. I hope we can film there. That'd be, I, I would figure you can. It's a national park. Probably. We own it. We pay taxes. That's how it works, right? I, th- I would say so, right? Even though we don't live in New Mexico, we don't pay New Mexico taxes. We pay federal taxes. It's a uh, it's a national park, not a Mexico park, right? <laughs> I would Mexico assume park. it's. I would assume it looks like it's a national park. Like it definitely says natural uh, national. So there we go. Cool, things to do, camping. Do we want to make it a camping trip? That's what I originally thought we should do is doing it as a camping trip. So then we can camp at the White Sands. Hmm. The only thing we have to think about logistically is equipment and sand. And people. And people. Yeah. Because caverns, we'd have to think about lighting and people. (laughs) Um, Continental Divide Trail in four minutes, hiking. Um, Which I think is interesting. Old Town, like I said, um, Aztec Ruins, I think would be really cool. Uh, there's the Gila National Forest, which is an enormous national park with campsites. Okay. Let me, and it's open 24 hours. Okay. I think that might be a good, the Gila Natural Forest. Um, let me see. G-I-L-A? I can... G-I-L-A, yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to give you the link. Because then we could really just uh, end game. I'm going to put under White Sands the link for Gila. So that's on the dock. Yeah, I'm, we definitely would have to think about sand with the other one. Like, I, yeah. I think the, the Gila it would be really cool. But I think as, as a end point, the White Sands is a little more iconic it's iconic and i think it's more um not pristine what's the um what's the word i'm looking i'm thinking of not eclectic either it's like um like the aesthetic would be really pretty um oh yeah yeah there's also a ghost ranch <laughs> so cooper believes in ghosts and it is was very the home afraid studio of, of georgia o'keefe what? Sorry. Uh, she's the lady who painted flower vaginas. Oh, I know who she is. She's it's the for, pussy painter. It's the, uh, it's for the viewers. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of, there's the Volcano National Monument. Like there's a lot of natural, really cool places. So I think the Gila and then maybe ending at White Sands would be really cool. Yeah. 
let me just see how far away they are so we can see logistically how impossible it is. Yeah, I don't know if we want to have two good places though. Like, shouldn't shouldn't the last place kind of be a uh, like a uh, serene like a relief? Serene, yeah, yeah. But shouldn't it be a a relief because they've just been through a shitty three to four days? That's fair. Um, I'm still gonna look at it though. No, no, no. Go for it. I'm right, I'm so saying next, next. so. Like Josh, Justin, and group can go to that place, but I think for the movie, Xander Cooper and the group shouldn't. Gotcha. They're about four hours away from each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a lot. I think we want to try to stay in the same. Yeah. So area. if we decide on White Sands, that's by El Paso. If we look at Gila, that is more close to the like the New Mexico, Arizona like area. Mm -hmm. And it's by Gila seems to be a city or Gila. So Gila, there's a, a Baptist church, a cemetery, Buckhorn. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's interesting. It's, it's closer. I would say to Tucson as, White Sands is closer to El Paso, mm -hmm. which is okay. Texas, right? I think so. Yeah, El Paso, like Texas. The border, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, it's yeah. right next to Texas. And then meanwhile, the other one is right next to Arizona. So it really depends on where we want to go from it. Colorado mm -hmm. is really close. It's right on, above New Mexico. Yeah, I'm I very close. That. I'm dumb. Geography, am I right? Geometry. Um. <clears throat> okay, so <clears throat> we have a couple options for the endpoint, but as long as it's pretty and mm -hmm. like an actual nice experience for the group, I think we're fine. Right. No, I agree. Oh, sorry, I'm just trying to think logistically. If we're at Colorado, you're where? Colorado Springs or Denver? Denver. Denver. Santa Fe is the closest like major city to you. Mm -hmm. What are you trying to think? I'm trying to think of like is are there places we can look at by Santa Fe or on the road to because I'm still trying to think of how we're how we're going to travel, let alone how the, the characters are gonna travel. Right, right. Um so my thought is if we if we want to do an actual train trip, like as the group, mm -hmm. we could probably meet, like I could fly to Orlando slash Tampa and we could take a train trip across the south, like the southern part of the U.S. to mm -hmm. Albuquerque. Um, if we don't do the train then it probably makes more sense for you guys to come out here and I can yeah. just drive everywhere. Exactly. It's six hours from Denver to Santa Fe and it's seven hours from uh, Denver to Albuquerque, which as we've discovered with our Georgia trip, that's, that's not terrible. No. And we could, we could fit it. We could fit. Well, how many people are we going to need? We might actually need two cars. We would most likely need two cars. We yeah, would we cast, will, And then we would have whoever shooting with us. Yeah. If, unless we're doing it ourselves, which I would see being problematic if there's mm -hmm. four of us to, to five of us doing it without having a dedicated person doing it. No, no. I'm still hoping we can get Isaiah to do it. I would love Isaiah to do it. And um, then I want Pat to come too. Yeah. Regardless of how much he's like in the film film. Exactly. So I think... Could rent a car too. Yeah. We could always rent a car. Just rent. Like I told a you, I, I wanted to rent it like an RV or rent like a uh, something that could fit all of us, like a school bus or something. Yeah, you know. I'm I'm gonna say let's tentatively plan on that. Everyone flies out. <clears throat> um, I would buy the the or rent whatever we need vehicle wise. Okay. And then we'll just like trek down there. Okay. I'm looking at how to rent a school bus. <laughs> we can just get a sprinter van. A sprinter van? 
Yeah, like a big van. You know, like the three row vans. Oh. I'm look. I'm googling a sprinter van. Oh yeah, yeah. Like kind of like uh, what people take on prom. <laughs> it's a prom. Yeah. Okay. Got it. They're nice, I guess. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, I'm going down a rabbit hole. Let's not look at that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so that, that's tentative. Um, I'm not married on the train if it doesn't make sense, you know? Okay. Whatever makes sense logistically or logistically. Yeah. Logistically like some of, is going to work. Some of, it, some of this we have to just go with like whatever we can do. Because it's not like we're taking off a shitload of time for it. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Um, okay. So, yeah. It seems like we got a fair amount of breaking it down. Yeah. So they're going to... Um, what, what if the scene is the next morning and Xander... I don't know. She, maybe he doesn't sleep because he's just planning the entire time, but yeah. like planning how to fuck with them. So he calls them at like five in the morning. <laughs> okay. Or like seven, maybe. So, so still super early for Skylar because he streams all night. Right. And then, um, I think five super, o, five a.m. works. Well, my thought is if if we're having them spread out across the U.S. and we're using our current time zones, mm -hmm. calling at seven would be super early for Mike slash. Skylar, right. and then calling it seven would make it five o'clock in the morning for me slash Cooper. So okay. it's early for both of them, but in different ways. Okay. But we can, okay. we really can make them live wherever. They just can't be in the same state. Okay. Little things to dig at. I need waking group. Oh, awake. Then plant. But I think this can be that'll be the phone call to uh tell them like, hey guys, I planned everything out. We're gonna do a I'll tell you guys about it tonight. Okay. But yeah, okay. waking wink group up earlier is good for the actual thing too. For the actual like fucking with them. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And then also shitty continental breakfasts. Yeah. Yo, I would on honestly love to get a uh, an RV or something and shoot in that. Right. <clears throat> like the more that we talk about it, I think you had the right idea. Because then we have to worry less about um, permission to film too. Yeah. And then, and then going from being completely separate with each other to being cramped in a small van. Yeah. So four. So yeah, six. That's, huh? Six what? I'm just thinking RV rental for like six, like a six person, just in case we need like a boom guy or ninety four dollars a night to rent the van. Mm hmm. To rent an RV. Okay, so like probably seven hundred so, bucks plus plus gas. Yeah, that's not that's very affordable. There's also one that's seventy. But that's a travel trailer, so it would be hitched to something. Oh, no, don't want that. Okay, cool. Uh, I say we figure out budgets later. Yeah, that's that's way down the line. But I, I like that idea like of, of forcing them to be crapped. Yeah. Santa Fe pickup. Sorry, there's like a, there's an RV like thing you can look at, like a rv share like i guess people rent out their rvs oh so like airbnb but for rvs i think so airbnb rv <laughs> wow. Um, wow these are really nice some of them are like 225 a night but there's like a full circular couch can you link it yeah i got you <laughs> rvs the under RVs. Um, here's one. That's the one I'm looking at. That's just and it, that's <clears> just two twenty five. But that's in New Mexico. Shout out RV share. Holy shit! There's a full kitchen inside. 
Yo, the sleeping loft is dope. <laughs> no, it's two like futons and then like a loft on top. Send me that one. Or is it the That's same the same one? one just okay. it's picture five. And then there's the couch. <laughs> cool. There's a couch. And then there are LEDs under it. It needs to be hitched though. Oh yeah, I can't do that. Fucking ass. Okay. That's really cool though. That's a really nice uh trailer. Yeah. Um there's the passport ultralight grand. Let's see what that is. Does this need to be hitched as well? That's the question. I'm just going to do September 15th. Let's see what happens. Six uh, one needs to be hitched as well. You said six, right? Drivable RV. Hold on. Uh What was that? Sorry. Huh? Oh, drivable what? RV. Yeah. Yeah. So Forest River, there's a few. So if we're looking at a drivable RV, they they run about two twenty five a night. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. There's some that are cheaper. Sleeps eight. Okay, Santa Fe, Sleep 6. I yeah, don't all the, um, want to do... Anything. All the what the... Uh, like driving creates new stuff too. New yeah. potential issues. No pets. So a week... It's still... Actually, it's a lot cheaper. Um, like for a week, it's... Uh, 1100 when 90 yeah. it's 150 I, even in the summer which is when i i picked it for it was it's 1800 instead of 275 that's not bad so let's try october so 243 february there we go okay so if we do it in the Oh, mm, like that's what snow is we don't want to do it when it's snowing no negative let me let me show you this one okay i like this one because i'm looking at the uh what you call it there are two different kinds of like sleeping lofts that look mm -hmm. big there's actually tvs in them and then there's like a master bedroom and then there's a couch as well. There's a dining area. You know what would be good about this too is uh, Skylar can just not want to leave, ever. Yeah. Because it's just it, it's just like what he would normally be doing anyway. Hell yeah. So how does this work? You just pay for gas as well. I would assume so. Refundable securities deposit is $1,500. Hmm. So 250 miles included. Oh. And then it's 0.35 per mile. And four hours per night of generator usage. Three, $3 extra per hour. Interesting. Oh, this one doesn't have any pictures and it's 150 that makes me uncomfortable yeah i don't trust it okay well i'm glad we found this site rv share so yeah. check out, out rv, RV share. share if you're going on a on a trip i'm glad we um, both picked we both uh, pumped them at the same time uh i'm just gonna yeah just dope I want to see if they have anything for Alp Everkey as well. Okay, so real quick, I want to try to summarize what we've done so okay. far. Go ahead and summarize. I'm actually going to get another beer. and pee. <clears throat> So okay. it's my turn to do it. What? Breaking the norm. <clears throat> oh, gross. I hate you. Okay, so, so far, 
tonight what we did is we went over the things that I came up with and sent to Justin throughout the week. Um, just little scenes that if we can get in there, we will. Like Skylar, uh, a, a montage of his failed viral attempts, um, cuts to pretending to be in an, in an indie movie, and then the lies that the characters believe. Um, then we talked about, we discovered that uh, Xander having the responsibility thrust upon him will maliciously comply and plan like a really shitty trip. The, oh fuck, hit my table. Um, the end destination itself is going to be good because that's going to be a, <clears throat> like a way for them to resolve. But everything else are just the shittiest places he could find that many of which were just decided by him rolling a d20 uh, and picking them from a list of like top 20 things to do in New Mexico, which hopefully is still where we end up going because that would change a lot of it. Um, yeah, so he'll do little things to make things bad, like breakfast is going to be really shitty, um, waking them up too early and pretending to be confused about it. And then we came up, we got links for a lot of stuff. We used Atlas Obscura to find weird things like uh, World's Largest Pistachio, the Roswell McDonald's, um, the Alamog Alamogordo Landfill. Uh, which is where all the E.T. games are rumored to be just dumped um, and stuff like that. Oh, and RV shares. We're thinking about making it more of an RV thing because the focus was their disconnect. So they've spent so much time away from each other that now they're forced to be right next to each other nonstop for like a week. And Justin's back. Hey, I'm back. Yeah, so I summarized everything. Cool. Um, do you have anything else? Because we're we're at our hour mark. No, I think we should call it. I think we're good. Fuck yeah. <laughs> PBR. Uh, so thanks for listening, guys. That was episode six. And um, that should be going up around mid-May. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow us on Twitch. We just made a TikTok. We just made a and Twitter. A Twitter. And a Twitter. Mike still runs both of those. Um, keep a lookout for Mike's podcast. It's uh, Mike's Untitled Soccer Show. It's not going in the same <laughs> feed as Junk Drawer Show. He wanted his own, so uh, check that out. Give him a follow. He knows oh, a that. shitload about soccer. Like, too yeah, much, almost. <laughs> well, when you play it, obviously you want to know shit about it. Oh, yeah. He just I, I'm always blown away by how much sports knowledge he just has in his head. Yeah. So oh, and they also did the football podcasts, so check that one out on our channel. Yeah. But lots of cool stuff from uh junk drawer coming up. Yeah. Hopefully, if after this, because we're gonna do a test run, maybe Mortal Kombat Let's Plays with me and fighting game let's plays. What's up? Pump for that. I'm very <laughs> pumped for that. I love aha uh, ha ha. I love playing games. Anyway, thanks so much for for checking it out. Um, I know there was a comment from uh, Patrick who wanted to say that we should make our my original film public. Unfortunately, there isn't a way to really do that. But if you watch episode two of Road to Freaks, you can kind of watch along with us and get the gist of the movie. So, yep. catch yourself up with that. If you're wondering what the fuck am I watching, what am I? What what's going on? Check why out episode two. Like, why do I give a shit? Yeah. Yeah, check out episode two, and then fuck it. Go for one and three and four and five. Yeah. Do the whole thing. Wow. Okay. Wow. See y'all later. Goodbye. So long. Farewell to That's you. That's copyright. No. Oh, shit. <laughs>